to your question, yes, there are differences between how we protect free speech here in the United States and how it's done around the world. We have the most protective standard in our Constitution, uh, and incitement is an area where you really see the distinction. We have this very narrow definition of incitement where it's only uh, intentional incitement to imminent violence, whereas around the world and in international law, uh, there is recognition of a broader conception of incitement. You can have things like incitement to discrimination or incitement to hatred. And the position that we take traditionally here in the United States is that that's dangerous because, well, really, what is incitement to discrimination? If you know, we're talking about the characteristics of a particular group uh, and there's something critical that said, could that be construed as incitement to hatred or discrimination? And if so, you know, then we can't talk about it anymore, that we, you know, we could be vulnerable if we even have that conversation. And we see instances where those broader provisions are used to shut down discussion whether you know, it's on a topic like racial discrimination or uh, tensions between a minority group uh, you know, in Europe, uh, issues that arise in relation to refugee populations, that even talking about those questions in some instances is construed as incitement to discrimination and hatred. And so the view you know, from the United States is that, that that's overly restrictive. Uh, and I think it's an important peg to stand on.